so for me number 3 and again i hate to say this but anfield <laughs> i think i'm done i think i'm done with this episode Hey guys, welcome back to Halftime Roomies. We're back with Ranked and with me again I have today Thomas Joseph, top ranker in school also. Yep. And you know what before we actually before we start the episode today I would like to talk about our sponsors because we have none. <laughs> we are having Alberta Genuine Draft. Please sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're sponsoring them at yeah. this point since we had this just last night. Yeah. We I think it's the best beer that we've it's, it's ever had. It's it's all time best uh, beer. Yeah, this is the only beer we're going to have from now on. It's just like Alberta my child. Alberta Genuine Draft. So I was sick. Cheers, my friend. Mmm. <sighs> Genuine it, Draft. It tastes like success. back to the regular <laughs> scheduled programming <laughs> back to schedule programming <laughs> <laughs> okay so today's topic is the top 5 stadiums we want to visit hmm. in football yeah right so the criteria is basically could be anywhere as long as it's a football stadium so do you want to start then I'll what's start. what's your number 5 so my number 5 is Westfalen stadium okay Borussia Dortmund But also known as uh, Signal Iduna Park 80000 plus uh capacity second biggest club stadium in Europe uh we all know the big yellow wall yeah Borussia Dortmund puts up um at the south stand i think it's one of the most intense atmospheres you can be in yeah uh it's a very loud stadium and for mo- for the most part if i'm ever watching a german a bundesliga game it's probably a dortmund game yeah for sure But I feel like you always start like hard man <laughs> like you know I'm like everything that's low on your list is high on my list <laughs> But you know what but yeah but fair though it it's it's on my list I won't reveal where but it's 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 definitely on my list as well Man you you know what I believe in go hard or go home Or, or go home yeah, I'm never soft <laughs> no, don't, don't 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 say it that way man <laughs> especially not with the big rock brewers <laughs> in front of us dude rock hard, <laughs> rock hard. <laughs> okay oh so for God. me my number 5 is is old trafford so i know this is this is going to sound like blasphemy but i've tried to be objective about this i've tried to keep like feelings and emotions out of it but it's definitely top 5 because i'm trying to like just imagine what i was going in my head like what was going on in my head was more like atmosphere yeah and like just like basically rowdiness yeah. that's how i kind of went in my list but i mean you've you have enough atmosphere and rowdiness uh in the stratford end yeah but i think there's i think there's more i think there's more rowdiness and like unless you're looking for somebody to <laughs> So like some actual violence. You. Yeah, actual <laughs> violence. That's basically okay. the crux of my list okay, is okay. actual violence. Th- then it's then it's then it's fine but I Yeah, but for me okay so I'll tell you what. Like a fan it definitely like pilgrimage you have to fucking go as a united fan you need to go to Old Trafford. Yeah. That's right, so it's there but I've tried to like say okay I'm not a united fan. Yeah. And if this was a general discussion what would uh what would the general public say? So right. that's why for me number 5 Old Trafford. I think yeah dude I can see that disappointment in your face already man. Let let's see where I mean you know what there's nothing you can say that will redeem you this now. <laughs> so moving on. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> My number 4 is the Neff Stadium. Hmm. Uh it hosts Galatasaray we'll mm-hmm. here in Istanbul. Oh yeah yeah. It's one of the most rowdy stadiums uh in in Europe. Galatasaray is known for the hostile reception they give to traveling fans. Yeah. We've seen it happen to United as well. Um and it's supposed to be one of the most beautiful stadiums uh, in one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. Yeah. Uh so Neff Stadium also called Ali Sami in Spor Kompleski. is on my Father, list. No, I I really like the fact that you learned the Turkish pronunciation <laughs> also of it. Say that one more time, dude. Ali Sami Yens for Kompleski. Fuck, dude. You've made me big rock hard <laughs> when you said that right now, dude. <laughs> Okay, so for me, <laughs> my number four is the Borussia Dortmund Stadium. Ah, nice. Yeah, so same similar reasons over there. Mm-hmm. I also like like the big T4s that they always yeah. have over there, and also I think 
Dortmund play like a very attractive like brand of football too. Mm-hmm. So I think like there's no moment where there's like a lull in the stadium kind yeah. of a thing, right? Yeah. And going to the stadium you're bound to see like a good performance or at least see like up and coming talent like every time like whenever you go mm-hmm. you'll probably at least like see that so for me that's why that was number 4 so number 3 uh, three for me is estadio monumental antonio vespuccio liberty fuck dude why are we fucking learn the full names of all of these stadiums man which also is known as river, river plate stadium so actually this is the only south american stadium on my list okay uh, for i think reasons that are very obvious river plate boca juniors hmm. uh, super classico uh, one of the biggest rivalries on the planet yeah one of the most hostile stadiums environments to be in uh, and also one of the most rowdy and loud yeah. environments to be in i've seen videos of uh, when maradona used to uh play back in the day and they used to visit river plate yeah uh, and even even now how loud the stadium can get It's just one place that I want to go to if I ever visit Argentina. Um so that's number 3 on my list. Yeah, that's actually like even like a lot of people say like the like both like the Boca Juniors and River Plate stadiums mm-hmm. is like the one place you should go before yeah. you die. Yeah. Almost like every football fan needs to see that. Yeah. And I like that you put it there because of the violence dude. Because <laughs> those matches always fucking get violent and shit, man. So for me number 3 and again I hate to say this but Anfield. <laughs> I think I'm done. I think I'm done with this episode. Listen man, I knew you would say like I think oh, I'm done episode. with this episode. <laughs> I I had to put it there being the objective person over here. I man. cannot I know. <laughs> should we just cut and then like just go our separate ways now? I think we should do that, man. The, the the silence is like making it worse for me man okay. why why am feeling give me give me give me your reason okay so let me redeem myself eventually <laughs> no you cannot redeem yourself <laughs> okay so we we've also kind of spoken about this it's a smaller stadium i think like the acoustics or whatever it is about the stadium because they have the image- walls Like it's, it's, exactly. it's all 360 so it's if they have walls between the between the cop and the yeah the so it keeps stands. like pretty much like all the sound yeah. in itself and like a lot of teams will say that you know it's like one of the worst places to go because yeah. you really hear the noise yeah. i think also people from liverpool are genuinely ghati so <laughs> like you know they're more like a little bit more rowdy you don't really get the sophisticated crowd <laughs> in liverpool right yeah. so i think like just that like that atmosphere and when they sing like you know you'll never walk alone and stuff like that i think when they all kind of get together for me it's just a as a neutral i think it's interesting like how like a a team <laughs> i can see you like just being like no <laughs> you're like hey i say what you're saying but no <laughs> okay let, let, let me say this let me say this dude. yeah <laughs> at least i would like to go there <laughs> as a scientific experiment <laughs> just to see how my rats issue with that is from bins can somehow create an atmosphere worthy <laughs> of a semi successful club and does that at least somewhat keep me in the video for the next 2 minutes it's it's fine you know what i'll take fine i'll take fine right now man moving on <laughs> uh, I don't like to see this man. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Number 2 uh, for me is Raiko Mitic Stadium. Mm. Uh Red Star Belgrade. Same. Sevena Savezda. Same man. Dude. I think it is the most hostile stadium that I have seen at least on TV so. Far. On yeah, on TV exactly man. Uh they play local rivals uh, FK Partizan. Yeah. Uh it's called the Eternal Derby. It sounds insane. Yeah, right? exactly. Like, the supporters of um red star belgrade are called the the lee mm. which means the heroes or the braves yeah uh while the uh, partisan fans are called the grobari mm. which means the uh, grave diggers or the undertakers oh holy shit so, man so just the way so the, the way both fan bases home or away um um the way they create the atmosphere in the way and home stands yeah uh, lighting up the flares just the pure violence the flares the man the flares is it looks so fucking scary right like dude then they have like they literally in set like the stands on fire yeah. and shit man yeah. it's not even just the flares it's it's crazy it honestly to me like when i've seen like the videos of it it looks like a scene out of the purge or something oh absolutely man. yeah yeah you put on one of the eternal eternal derbies or a champions league game featuring red star belgrade yeah you're bound to see 
the most hostile environment yeah. i think in football yeah it looks like something like seriously out of like the purge or like fucking an apocalypse or something man that yeah. that shit is insane and there's there's violence there there's literal fire in the yeah. stands there's flares it's just visually what a fucking like delight it would be man so that's number 2 for you that's as well that's number 2 for okay. me okay number 1 for me old rapper i knew you would say I've, this i've been there it's it's the it's second home i i i i'm willing to spend the rest of my days <laughs> my inside days. that inside that stadium i don't think they'll let you <laughs> it's not like you know they'll be like yes come dude live here it's fine rent free i will find my way <laughs> <laughs> it's just the it i mean it's called the theater of dreams yeah yeah we've seen the kind of games you yeah, have had under the 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 golden fergie days um the last minute winners we've had uh the champions league nights the fa cups the league cups the 13 league championships that we've won under fergie and even now sure times must times are tough uh we aren't anywhere close to what we used to be but there's just another charm of watching 80 70 74000 people at old trafford oh yeah um just the, it's 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 the, it's it's the most perfect stadium i i can envision and you've been there too right i feel like that that, that adds, adds yeah, yeah that's adds for you it. i know you it adds to yeah, it because yeah. you were telling me also like how good it was and yeah. how like the stadium luckily i also saw the uh, I, i i was there for the liverpool derby hmm. so not only was i there what would not only was i at old trafford i was also there to watch us play our biggest rivals yeah so just the atmosphere just this the build up to the game uh in in the stadium itself while the game's going on outside the stadium uh, abusing and bashing the uh, liverpool, the liverpool fans, fans on on, the, on yeah. their way out uh it's it's just uh it's just, it's just fun to be there man. yeah and i'm sure even just even knowing the chants and everything yeah. too right like you know it all helps, of these yeah. chants yeah, we've sung like sang all of these songs yeah. like in india man yeah. so like being there with like you know like people from manchester singing those songs yeah. like i can just imagine like that would be like crazy yeah. So I knew you would eventually go Old Trafford number one. That's why I was like, you know what? Let me be objective about this and let me put it number five, just just for variation, you know. I'm I, I'm fine with that. I'm not fine. With, I'm not fine with that Merseyside club being on this list. <laughs> okay, then you know what? You'll really not be fine with my number one, dude. Don't say it's Park the Princess. No, dude. Is it Camp Nou? It's BMO Field. because dude it's a it's it's a 5 minute street car ride away it's 10 dollars by uber we can walk then it only takes us 20 no it's not be more feel fuck man dude i can just see like every with every rank you've just been more and more disappointed but it's similar to one of your other picks though but it's not the river plate stadium is the boca juniors nice. uh, stadium for I, me, i was originally going to put yeah i was actually going to put that originally in my list but now like yeah i just feel because this uh, because the boca juniors stadium is uh, uh, sorry the river plate stadium is bigger yeah. i think it's just makes my list on that virtue yeah yeah but i i've seen like some of like the videos of it over and to me again i think it's just visually more appealing mm-hmm. like i've seen like days like, i think when they were like winning like the championship and shit, they have like full jerseys and all yeah. <laughs> they have everyone full jerseys in the they have stadium. nice colors i mean blue and yellow yeah man nice and, and it's nice like the kind of like fireworks and stuff that go mm-hmm. on over there like and the stadium itself yeah. like i was seeing this thing with uh, hernan crespo did like a uh, interview once like a long time ago and he said that the way the stadium is built right is basically a d shape and there's the one like the the horizontal part of the d it just like it goes it just like straight up so yeah. the amount of shaking that happens in the stadium he was like all players they basically feel like they have nerves but it's not nerves is the like literally the ground shaking underneath mm-hmm. them and also apparently like nowadays with river plate apparently like the fans are apparently like a little richer mm-hmm. but like the boca junior stadium is still like more working class so you know like you have like that little bit more passion in the thing yeah. well uh, i think i had a good list <laughs> and you're like you did not have a good list i respect you <laughs> <laughs> but your list is shit <laughs> but i cannot believe you put anything on the list and and why do i remind you above old trafford this is this is the kind of personal sacrifices i have to make knowing the choices that you're going to make no one asked you to make the sacrifice <laughs> <laughs> you know what i did i did it for the for the tip for the general good and no good has ever come out of it <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to, <laughs> going to <answer. laughs> 
Anyways. That's that's the list. The list. That, that, the that list. is the list. We'll move on. We'll we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> on that note of sadness. <laughs> so you know what? Don't even like, share, or subscribe. <laughs> so, Do who, let us know what your favorite stadiums are. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe share it on our list. Yeah, on maybe, our list. Uh, on my list. <laughs> Put me in my place. <laughs> That does it for us. Uh, it was good having you on. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. And stay safe and have fun. Cheerio. Cheerio. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more sports content. In the meantime, click on these thumbnails to check out our other videos. Hope you have a great day ahead.